Hi guys, in this video I want to talk you through how to use the Swipe Trade app and to place a trade from the app. So when you get a trade alert, this is the first image that you will see when you first open the app and you've got a choice to either accept or decline the trade depending on if you're around to manage any updates that come through or anything like that. So we're just going to click accept and as you can see this brings up all of the information we need to place the trade. So the first thing that you need to know is that this is a JBP JPY trade so that's Great British Pound to Japanese Yen and the second thing that we need to take notice of is our trade type so this is a sell limit order so we just look at the trade type and order type and that gives us the first bit of information we need so we now can head over to our MetaTrader 4 account and under quotes at the bottom here you will see all of the pairs that we currently have listed now as you can see i already have the jbp jpy pair on there if you don't you can just head on up here to this plus like we did in the setting up of the apps and add that pair on and to create a trade on this pair all we do is tap and hold the pair down until we get this menu up and we click trade so we now have the trade page open within the app so we want to first of all double check that we have the right pair which we do and the second thing is to check that we have the right order type so we actually have sell limit here which happens to be the order we need but if the trade alert said a sell stop or a buy limit we would just tap on there and it would give us the different kinds of order types and we could select the one we need from there so i'm just going to leave that on sell limit so the next thing we need to set is the lot size and as you can see we're currently set at 0.01 now the lot size is actually given to you in the trade alert so if we head on over to the swipe trades app again and just scroll down you can see that the recommended lot size for this particular trade is 0.03 per $1,000 in the account and this gives you a 1% risk so basically if you've got a thousand dollars in your account you're going to put 0.03 lot size if you've got a two thousand dollar account you're going to put a 0.06 lot size if you have got less than a thousand dollars in your account i would recommend sticking to the very minimum which would be 0.01 if you are kind of just starting out and testing and starting to build your account up so let's head on over to our metatrader account and change our lot size so let's just assume for this demonstration that this is a thousand dollar account and what we can do is we can actually tap this little plus 0.01 until we get to the desired lot size and again there is obviously a minus 0.01 here a, a minus 0.1 and a plus 0.1 just to make that process a little bit quicker so make sure that you've got the recommended lot size in there and then the next thing we need is the price so what we do now is we head on back over to the swipe trades app and we scroll down where it's got our entry price and if we just click this little symbol here that is going to copy this information so if we just tap that and that gives us a confirmation that 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 data has been successfully copied and we just click OK. Now we head on back over to the MetaTrader and we're just going to literally tap and paste in here what we've just copied. Now to do that when you first tap it's going to give you a price that the market currently is close to. So we're just going to delete that off. We're going to hold on our phone screen and click paste just like you would normally if you were doing a normal copy and paste on your phone so that's the pricing now as you can see this gray bar would normally be blue if this was a placeable trade but because i'm actually doing this as an example over the weekend the markets are closed and so this is no longer a viable price to enter the trade at because this is an old trade alert so what we're now going to do is to go over and to get our stop loss information so we head back on over to our swipe trades app and we just do the same again we come down to the stop loss and we just copy the information again head back over to MetaTrader and do exactly the same again we tap it gives us a price we delete that out and we just click paste and then we're going to do the exact same thing with the take profit so back over to the swipe trade app go down to the first take profit and copy 
over to the MetaTrader app, delete out the numbers it gives you and paste in the number that the swipe trade alert gave you and then we will just be able to click place on this order now like I say this isn't a trade that we can actually enter into at this point because this is an old trade alert so it's no longer viable which is why this button's grey normally that will be um, either blue or green I can't quite remember um, when it's a, a trade that you can actually place so if we go back on over to the swipe trades app there is one thing you, you will notice is that this has two take profit numbers. So basically, sometimes on this app, you will get two entry prices or you will get two take profits. And what that means is that you actually place a second trade with all of this information the same, but the take profit is slightly different. If you've got two entry prices, you would do one trade with entry price one and the rest of the information the same, and one trade with entry price two and the rest of the information the same unless there is a note at the bottom telling you to only enter one position like this so that's telling you only to enter one position so you would just literally place either take profit one or take profit two it would be entirely up to you so that's a quick overview of how to use the swipe trade app you can now see how simple it is you will sometimes get trade alerts telling you to close a trade when it's kind of reached a certain point or if that trade is not going to hit its entry point Point and is no longer viable you will sometimes then get a trade alert telling you to close that trade so if we were to close a trade we just come on over here to um, our MetaTrader 4 account now I'm not actually going to close any of these trades off because these are fusion trades not my trades and so I don't want to um, disconnect my fusion account so if I just tap and hold one of the prices and as you can see you've got an option for close on there and that's how you would close a trade so I hope that's been helpful um, obviously just give me a shout if you need anything and um, as per usual any questions just ask and I will see you in the next training video